Welcome to the JNO show. Where we talk about why you acting so masculine. Rest in your femininity. Rest in it. <laughs> You a little too, too tough, yo. You got to You got to No, you gotta, no. You a little too things tough. Things just have to make sense. When I be like, watching you, a little too tough. I'm serious. You, you got to you know, feminine. Men, you a feminine looking woman. You beautiful. It's okay. Rest in your femininity. Oh, I'm always in my femininity. Well, rest in it. I never feel like I have to. <laughs> well, you <masculine>. talk. <laughs> he said. He said. <laughs> well, rest in it. <laughs> but like, you know what, though. You know what. I think it's triggering sometimes because I'm low key. I think it's triggering for me too sometimes. Like when I watch and I see stuff like this, it's like, why is it that if a woman shows like she gets upset or she gets like, I don't know, emotional or combative or something like that, aggressive. all aggressive, like, why does it have to be like, oh, you're not being like, why are you not being feminine or why are you being masculine? It's like, so women are not allowed to get angry? No, women can get angry, but there's a way that women get angry and then there's a way that men get angry. And, and It depends and, on where you're from. Uh, well, yeah, but, but <laughs> I, think, I think that's the whole point, though. I think that's the whole point. I think there are certain places, and I'm from that place. I think there are certain places where the women, when they get upset they get aggressive like a man and the thing is men hate that because what can we do but it we can't seem treat like, you like the man that you acting like but it didn't seem like she was getting man like well, man aggressive I, we but. didn't see what happened before they came in on the clip okay well let's see so what we don't know now. hold on wait 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 i wanted to say something though about that when they're saying he was like well rest in it but look <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the thing for people who want to see a woman who can go toe to toe with you and literally embarrass you based on points and data statistics or whatever her belief oh. system and stuff. Y'all go check out Lila Rose. Yes. She is thorough, mm. but she is also a great example of how you can really dig into somebody and mess them up. You can disagree with a man and everything and be like, bro, you way off mm -hmm. and do it in a way that is feminine, especially the clip of her going against, I think Justin Wilder was his name. Oh yeah. I think it was Justin Wilder mm -hmm. and Lila Rose on the whatever podcast. She does destroyed this dude this alpha male you know I'm a millionaire he always wearing he always got an open shirt with his chesticles hanging out but it's shaved though and he swole he ain't got no taco meat no no taco meat it's shaved like he's a he, he looks like a Miami businessman mm. he wearing like he be wearing like powder blue suit oh well he wouldn't have taco meat though cause he was Latino or he's I think I think he was I think he was Caucasian. I think he was Caucasian. Oh, okay. But but he, he had, had the, but he had like the chisel chest. Like he looked like a white Terry Crews. Like his chest was swole <laughs> up and everything. Like he was diesel. He's very successful and everything. But when I tell you Lila Rose dismantled and frustrated this man, mm -hmm. but she did not get masculine, that is how it looks. Like I said, when men and women get into it and they're both aggressive, men are at an automatic disadvantage. And that's why a lot of women do it and men hate that. They hate it because we well, can't treat you like the dude you acting like. And if you coming at me with a certain amount of energy, I can't respond with the same energy. Well, he couldn't me. respond to her either. Who? Even though she was coming at him feminine. She, That's the point. He couldn't respond to her either. Women always underestimate the power they have. Mm -hmm. Men's greatest weakness is women. Well, you got that right. And money. Yep. That's true. That's their greatest weakness. <laughs> and she used it. When you, talk, when you talk about it on here, you be a little aggressive. No, I'm not aggressive. Um, men are just not used to a woman that looks like me what? being factual. They what? want women that look like me to be emotional and be like, oh, but you, you guys, this you... is how I feel. And I just want to be, I don't think like that because but... that's not, that's, you think like that, you're going to get ran over your whole life. Mm -hmm. if, if I was fat and ugly, y'all wouldn't care about what I was Hold saying. On. But because of how I look, no. y'all be like, oh, she's so aggressive. I'm just saying, you could be, do it in a feminine way. No, like, no, thank you. Go be a so aggressive. Cause, cause it's what's okay. Feminine? What's feminine? You. How do you speak in a feminine way? I don't understand. No, that. I'm just saying it's not even you. That the things like I'm gonna keep it a buck. He's just not the dude should be having this conversation. Because <laughs> <laughs> so far you zero for two, my dude. You zero for two. The two joints I've seen of you, you just not. You have anything to say? Because you know I'll be dominant in videos. You have anything to say? <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just, I was just waiting to see if she was like being extremely aggressive or not even extremely aggressive but just like aggressive like being masculine in the way she was speaking to him just now i saw a little bit of it but it wasn't 
it wasn't as outrageous as I have seen it. I did see a glimpse, but, you know, we're looking at one minute of probably something that's one, two or three hours long. Yeah. So you can't really judge. Really? I saw a little glimpse of how she be moving and I, I could tell you, yeah, it's there. I could see it. Well, I would you could just be a little bit be more feminine. Like, no, thank you. That she had the typical angry black woman attitude type thing. I saw it in that one minute clip and I was like, mm. I could see how that. Mm. Like I said, look at Lila Rose, y'all. That's somebody that could dismantle you and it's feminine the whole time. Yes, there is a way to do it. And it's feminine and there's a way to do it and it's masculine. 100%. But anything you want to add? All I know <laughs> is that, like, if you get me to a certain point or what have you, I may not be you know, sweet and nice and this, that, and the third or whatever. I don't know if it's just because that's just... Look, you see her hands right now, right? I don't know. I'm you just see saying. her hands right now, right? <laughs> I'm just yep. saying. You see? you see what she doing? <laughs> what? Exactly. Exactly. Because she from there, too. Look. Where you from? Listen. Where you from? Where you from? Y'all know where I'm from. No, 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 no. I want you to hear that. I want you to say it. Where I'm you from? Jersey, son. There you go. <laughs> Born in New York, raised in New Jersey. I don't want to hear that. Well, I mean, Northern I don't know. New Jersey, Newark, Brick Listen. City. That's where she from. Yep. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember the clip that you were talking about with the Lila Rose girl. She did a good job and everything like that. But that's that's um, feminine. Feminine. And to be, to be honest, if men, if we lived in a society where men still were moved like men and women didn't have the protections that they have now, a lot more women would act like that. The reason that they can get all loud and all of that other stuff is because they're protected. I'm not saying getting, uh, well, I don't know. I guess everybody's different. Or even the, even the type of attitude they have. Like, yo, men can't talk to each other a certain way. That's why there's so much conversation about this type of topic. Men can't do that to each other. We can't be passive aggressive because men will check you. Like if you talking to me and you're being passive aggressive, mm -hmm. I get aggressive mm -hmm. because I'm a man. I don't do that. To me, that's feminine. That's that's very feminine to be passive aggressive. And if I find a man being passive aggressive with me, I get aggressive with him because I let him know off jump. Yo, if you move like that with me and you talking slick, bro, I'm going to check you on your slick talk and it's going to get aggressive aggressive. You can't stay passive aggressive with me. I don't do that. But if I'm engaging with a woman and she's being passive aggressive in that way, mm -hmm. I can't respond to her like that. It's literally taking advantage of like a loophole in a contract. Because women act a certain way knowing that men can't do anything about it. Not because they're scared or intimidated by you or that you're making a good point, but because I can't treat you like a man that you're acting like. Sometimes, yeah. But also, why can't it just be... I mean, we both have... Men and women both have... Um, Emotions? Yeah, but we mm -hmm. both have testosterone in us. Of course, mm -hmm. women don't have nearly as much as men. Mm -hmm. So, like, why can't it just be that we're utilizing... That like when do we get to utilize that is what I'm trying to figure out. I don't think it's a great idea for you to utilize that with men. So when do you utilize it? Because any 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 go to the gym just like <laughs> just like we got to do. No, I'm saying <laughs> any, we can't come at y'all a certain way either. We can't. Saying, we have to control ourselves. I'm just saying it's a natural truth. We do have to con learn to control ourselves. But I think even I think that a woman can still be aggressive. And be in control. Does that happen all the time? No. But I do think that that is something that can be po that is possible. Then don't act a certain way when a man is aggressive back with you. That's fair. I've been saying this. We got to make a decision, y'all. Mm -hmm. Are we equal or do we have these gender roles in place and we move according to them? Because you can't have both. If you want to come out here and be equal and act that way. And, and the reason I'm saying that is because society has not yet decided what they want. Mm -hmm. They're saying both. Like I want we, they want everything and it don't work like that. It's not it's not sustainable. Yeah. And that's why that's why there's a gender war, because that is not sustainable. We got to choose one. We either have gender roles mm -hmm. and we have preferential treatment, which means women are going to get certain preferences and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Men are going to get certain preferences or 100 percent equal. It has to be one or the other. And if we don't if we don't come to that decision as a society soon, we're going to continue having these issues. And we're going to continue having these situations until something breaks. Mm. I would just suggest, just like how men have to control themselves, no matter how women's coming, they coming at us with this aggressive energy, like they're a man, but I can't 
respond. So I have to control myself in the same way women have to control themselves when they're in a situation having these conversations, just like men have to control ourselves. We can't say anything we want to. We can't say it how we want to. But if it's a bunch of men talking to each other, bro, if you see how Kevin Samuels would be talking with him and men was going at each other and Anton Daniels too, dudes move different. It's like either, either we go on butt or somebody has to submit. Yep. Even amongst men. And that's the thing. Women are looking at men like the men are going to submit. And if you walk into a guy who's an actual man and not effeminate, that's going to be a problem. Hmm. Always. Well. All right, guys, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to hit that like button. Mm -hmm. I need you to hit that subscribe button. Mm -hmm. I need you to hit that notification button. Mm -hmm. I need you to hit all the buttons. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Down in the description, there are two links. One is to a GoFundMe. And the other one is to a video that explains what the GoFundMe is for. Mm -hmm. Long story short, we have a medical situation with our daughter that we have to pay for everything out of pocket. And we can really use you guys' help. If you have the time, uh, we'd love for you to go check it out. If you have the money, the funds, we'd love for you guys to help. If not, maybe you can send a link to somebody else who can help. Uh, We thank you for your time. Thank you. Peace. Press the off button. (laughs)